Hey everyone, it's Jillian. Let's get started. Let's move our bodies today. You're gonna have some movement, some breathing, um, some slowing down and some shaking around and all of the above. Let's get started. So come up onto your feet, make sure you have a mat. Um, that should be enough and you. All right, everyone, I just want you to shake. Wherever you are, stand up, shake the feet. Shake the ankles, let it travel up into the calves now. Up into the knees, you can close your eyes, I'll guide you along. Up into the thighs, up into the hips, up into the arms and chest now, into the belly, into the elbows and the wrists and the shoulders and the neck. Just keep shaking, no one's watching you. Take a deep breath in, keep shaking. Now the whole body, move around. Maybe off your mat, on your rug, back onto your mat. And in your next exhale, pause, wherever you are. Find stillness, close the eyes. Feel your two feet ground down to the earth. Feel the weight of the body and the weight of the breath coming out and in. Become aware of the sounds that you may hear. And the sound of your own breath. to prayer, center of the chest. Take a moment and gaze down with your fingers. All right, everyone, welcome. Let's get started to move a little bit more. Come to your mat. Middle of the mat, feet about hip width distance, mountain pose. On your next inhale, Take the arms all the way up overhead, arms near the ears. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold, deepen. Inhale, all the way up to stand, mountain pose. Arms up near the ears. Exhale, stand in mountain. Arms by the sides. Firm the feet into the floor, the quads, the kneecaps lift slightly. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up to stand. Arms draw down through your midline. Relax the arms by the sides, mountain pose. Feel all corners of the feet ground down. And then inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Good, keep your knees bent, grab your opposite elbows and let the body sway side to side. Bend the knees, belly resting on the tops of the thighs. And come to stillness, keeping the knees bent and the chin tuck, roll up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Until you're all the way up to standing, arms by the sides. Notice where the breath shows up most for you right now, in the chest, in the belly, or in the pelvis, in the throat region. Where is it showing up most prevalent right now? All right, everyone. 
Let's step our right foot forward and our left leg back into your warrior two. Right arm out in front, left arm stretched behind you. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale. Inhale, stretch that front arm all the way up to the ceiling, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two, open the arms. Side angle, right forearm to right thigh, left arm overhead or reaching past it. Draw the navel back and in. Make sure the eyes and the neck on strain. Inhale, warrior two. Stretch out the front leg. And re-bend slowly. Inhale, stretch the leg. Exhale, re-bend. Last one, inhale, stretch the leg. Exhale, re-bend. Slowly cartwheel your hands all the way down to your mat. Step back to plank position. Lift the hips slowly, downward facing dog. Pedal out your heels. Let the head hang. Feeling into the pads of your feet and the pads of your hands. Soften your knees and walk forward, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up to stand, arms sweep up, and drag down the midline. Inhale, sweep the arms down and up. Exhale, forward fold. Grab your opposite elbows, bend your knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time. And release the arms down by your sides. Come into your warrior two position with the left leg forward and the right foot back. Arms stretched out wide. Ground down into your feet as you soften the jaw, the facial muscles, and even the gaze. No more straining today. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior on your next exhale. Inhale, slowly come on up, warrior two. Exhale, side angle, left forearm to left thigh, right arm overhead or reaching over the head. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. And take a breath. Slowly stretch out the front leg, squeezing the inner thighs. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, stretch the leg. Exhale, rebend 90 degrees. Inhale, stretch the leg. Exhale, rebend 90 degrees. Take a moment here and cartwheel the hands down. Plank position, left foot steps back. Lift the hips slowly, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, walk forward, top of the mat. Grab your opposite elbow, hang heavy. Give a little sway side to side again, bending the knees right and left. Letting the neck and elbows droop downwards. Pausing the center, bend the knees, keep the chin tucked and roll up one vertebrae at a time.
and come to standing. Mountain pose, eyes maybe shut or softly gazing out in front. Slowly flutter the eyes open as if they're closed. And let's step that left foot back into your warrior two position again, right foot forward. Arms out long. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Right arm reaches up as if you had a sharpie in your hand. You're gonna trace some new lines, some new artwork up on the ceiling. Exhale, warrior two. Side angle, right forearm comes to thigh, left arm either overhead or passing it. Feel those right ribs wrap underneath. The navel draw back towards that left hip. And inhale, warrior two. Good, stretch out the front knee, inhale. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, rebend, hold. Cartwheel the hands all the way down. Take your flow if you'd like, this time coming to plank. Softening the knees down. Lower to belly slowly, elbows pointing straight back. Inhale, baby cobra, roll the upper back and chest up as you press navel down. Exhale, forward. Lift up through all fours. Curl toes, down dog. Bend the knees, walk forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up to stand. Arms near the ears and down by the sides. Warrior two, left leg forward, right leg back. Flip the front palm, reverse your warrior. Left arm reaches, traces up towards the heavens. Exhale, warrior two. Side angle, left forearm, left thigh, right arm overhead. Feel that left elbow getting a little lighter, engaging more of the core and trunk of the body. And inhale, rise up, warrior two. Take a moment here. And exhale, cartwheel hands all the way down. Plank position, if you'd like to take your flow. If you'd like to skip the flow, go right into your down dog. Soften the knees, lower to belly, slow. Baby cobra or up dog. Exhaling into downward facing dog. All right, so from here, all in your down dog, roll forward into plank, press through those feet, roll forward, plank position. Soften the knees down and press back child's pose. Relax the forehead to the floor, soften the elbows, wiggle the hips a little side to side if that feels good. Next, inhale, breath. Press through the palms and slowly come back up to all fours. Curl your toes, downward facing dog. From your down dog, inhale, right leg up and back. Keep the hips level, reach through the heels. 
Let the head hang. Tummy muscles hug in. And on your next exhale breath, step your foot all the way through. Keep your back heel lifted nice and high. Rise up, high lunge. Stretch through the arms. Lengthen the lower back. Feel the fullness of the breath in and out. And then exhale, bend the back knee while bending your arms 90 degrees. Cactus arms. Inhale, stretch the back leg, arms overhead. Exhale, bend the back knee, open the arms and chest. One more. Inhale, stretch the back leg. Exhale, bend the elbows and knee. Inhale, stretch. And lower the hands down to the floor. From here, keep that back heel lifted. Inhale, twist that right arm up towards the ceiling. One more breath in your twist. And exhale, lower the hand down. Step it back to downward facing dog. Hips up, reach through the palms and heels. And on your next inhale breath, send the left leg up and back. Square off the hips. Reach through both your heels. And exhale, step your foot all the way through. Back heel stays high. Come on up, high lunge. <sighs> Couple breaths here. Letting the shoulders soften away from the ears. And on your next exhale, cactus the arms, bend your back knee. Inhale, stretch right up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend the back knee, elbows lower. Inhale, stretch. Last time, exhale, bend the back knee. Good, inhale, reach up. And lower the hands down. Keep the back leg straight and firm. From that navel center, inhale, open left arm up towards the ceiling. Soften the face. Breathe lightly, more easily. And exhale, lower the hand. Step back to down dog. Bend the knees, look forward, walk to the top of the mat. Bring the feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up to stand. Arms sweep up and down through prayer. Bring the weight of your body into the left leg. Finding your tree pose, lift the right leg either to the shin or up into the inner thigh. If your balance is a little off today, your toes can be in contact with the floor. So wherever you're choosing, soften the neck and shoulders. And take a few breaths here. Noticing where is the breath most prevalent for you? Where do you feel it first? Is it the belly? Is it the chest? Perhaps the throat or even the pelvis? Or maybe perhaps someplace other in the body? Help yourself out of the pose. Shake it out. And come to stand in that mountain pose. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Bringing, bringing the hands back to prayer now. Shift the weight into the opposite leg. The 
perhaps the right leg for you now. And bring the left foot in contact with the floor for more balance against the shin and or up against the inner thigh. Find your soft focus. Feeling both right and left sides of the body, balancing, creating harmony, the perfect atmosphere in the body. One more breath. And help yourself out of the pose. Shake it out, shake it up, just like we did at the beginning. The neck, the ears, the tongue, everything, the body, the legs. And then come to stand, feet about hip width, palms forward. And feel that reverberation of all your shaking. Slowly, slowly grounding back down again. Right here, right now, this present moment, wherever it is you are, wherever you're practicing. All right, yogis. If you're not facing the front of the mat, face back to the front of your mat again. Feet hip width, inhale, swing the arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank position, hands down, step it back, and take your flow. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, step all the way through. High lunge, come on up. We're gonna take that left arm forward, right arm back, rotating towards your right. Imagine a wall, you can press the backs of your hands up against. Feel the back body enliven. Inhale, arms up overhead, return to center. Exhale, hands down. Plank position. Take your flow. <sighs> Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, step all the way through. Come on up, high lunge. Arms overhead. Back leg firm and straight. From that navel center, rotate the torso and send the right arm forward and left arm back. Feel that invisible wall that you can press against the back of the head, shoulder blades, back of the palms. Inhale, return all the way up, arms through center. Exhale, forward fold, hands down, step back to plank. Take your flow. Soften the knees down if you're modifying, or feel free to take your full chaturanga, baby cobra, or upward facing dog into your downward facing dog. Soften the knees, look forward, walk to the middle or top of the mat. Feet are hip width. Inhale, chair pose. Bend the knees, arms up. Bring the arms parallel to the floor. Shoulders soften. Inhale, open up that right arm all the way back. Inhale, sweep that right arm back to the front. As you're opening in the arm, try to keep that hip and knee straight forward. On your next breath, take the left arm back. Without letting the knees or the hips 
go with you, but instead staying square. Return the left arm to the front. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Feel the fullness of your breath here, inhaling and exhaling. And inhale, chair pose. Arms up and up. Soften them down, parallel with the floor. Inhale, right arm opens up towards the back wall. Exhale, draw it forward. Inhale, open left arm. Exhale, draw it forward. Forward fold, let it all go. Good, interlace the hands behind you. Send the knuckles up towards the ceiling. Get a nice stretch for the shoulders. Keep the knees bent so your belly can rest on the thighs. And allow the heaviness of the head to hang down. Soften the arms and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Bringing the head up last. Take a deep breath in. Full breath out. All right, turn to the long edge of your mat. Open the feet, if your arms are stretched out, your feet will be right underneath your wrists. Okay, that's a nice measurement. Get a little soft bend in the knees. Flip those palms forward. And inhale, grow taller through the top of the head. Exhale, touch your right hand to your left foot. Inhale, slowly come up. Keeping a long spine. Exhale, left hand towards right foot. Inhale, slowly coming up. And repeat this a few more times. Moving slowly, feeling the strength in that core, supporting the spine. Feeling the inner thighs drawing towards each other. And keeping a slight bend in your knees. One more time to both your sides. Rising on the inhale breath. Twisting, lengthening on that exhale breath. And inhale, slowly come back up to center. Bring the hands to prayer. Thumbs at the center of the chest. Draw the heels in a couple times, and so the toes are out maybe 45 degrees. From here, bend the knees, goddess pose. Sit down low, adjust your stance a little bit. Continue to breathe, you might close the eyes. Notice where the breath is prevalent for you. Where do you feel it most connected to your body? Two more rounds of breath. Allow the heat to build the muscles to enliven. Feel the ground underneath you. It's sturdy where up here we might be shivering or shaking in the muscles a little bit. Feel the ground, it's heaviness, it's weight, it's sturdiness, it's support. It's foundation, one more breath. And inhale, rise, stretch out those legs. Good job, everyone. Bring the hands to your hips. Toe heel your feet together. And come up to stand. <sighs> Keeping the feet hip width. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, flip the palms. So 
so that the palms are facing the front wall or wherever you are. Now inhale, sweep them up and exhale. Draw the needle back, tuck your chin, stretch those palms forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sweep your palms forward, draw the needle in from the side. It's almost like a cat cow, but standing. Inhale, lift through the waist. Exhale, draw the belly in, stretch the palms forward. Last one, inhale. Exhale, navel draws back, round your spine, tuck your tail. And inhale, rise, release the arms. Good. Roll out the shoulders a little bit. All right, everyone, let's come down to the floor. Bring the soles of the feet together, hands either on the shins or the knees. Start to circle in any direction. Feel the weight transferring to each sitting bone. Circles through the chest and sternum, the rib cage, the pelvis. Reverse direction in whatever that is you're going. Now in the opposite way. Stretch the right leg out to the 45. Bring the left foot up against the inner thigh of your right leg. Engage the right leg, flex your toes. Reach the left arm all the way up and begin to slide your right forearm down the inner right calf. And left arm reaches up and over towards your right toes. Keep the left sitting bone heavy Ground it into that foundation of the earth. And on your next inhale, peel open your left arm towards the sky. The gaze might go with the left hand. And on your next inhale, slowly, slowly come on up. Bring the hands to the knees, take a breath. Good. Draw the right leg in and the left leg out. Right sole of the foot and heel against the inner left leg. Flex that left leg, inhale, rise them up. Lengthen that right side of the body and then sweep and lengthen that left arm down the inner calf. Right arm reaches out towards the left toes. While well, imagining there's a heavy bag of rice on your right knee or your right hip, keeping that hip grounded into the earth. And on your next inhale, sweep that right arm open up towards the sky a little more as if you're spiraling your chest and collarbones to reach towards the sky right hip heavy still one more breath and inhale slowly slowly rise back up coming to neutral take a breath Closed. From here, you're going to hold the backs of the thighs. Exhale, round, draw the navel back, tuck your chin and chest. Inhale, rock your pelvis forward, lift the sternum and heart. Exhale, draw the navel back. Inhale, rock pelvis forward, lift chest and sternum. And come to neutral. We're gonna do boat pose now. Feel that length in that lower back. Watch out for any rounding. Feel that length 
of that lower back. First pose, you might reach the arms out. Then maybe another expression, one leg up, perhaps two legs up. And then perhaps you extend those legs. Navel draws in. Anytime it's too much, just bring the foot down, or you can always hold one of your legs. When you're ready to come out of it, slowly bring the feet down. Open up those knees, soles of the feet together. Lean forward, take a deep breath. Press the elbows downwards towards the ground. Feeling a little resistance of your knees, most likely. One more deep breath. And slowly come back up. Beautiful, from here, let's roll them all the way down, arms forward, one vertebrae at a time. Start from that lower back, tap the tail, navel draws in, one vertebrae, do the best you can. Once you're down, stretch your arms overhead, and bring the legs in, one and then the other, so that your feet are flat. Cross your right ankle over the left thigh. Lift the left leg and draw the arms through and around, figure four. Relax the head heavy on the ground. If it feels good to sway a little side to side, feel free to do so. Breathe space into that right hip. And then soften the left foot back down to the floor. Good, release the right leg, we'll cross the left now. Pick up the legs and draw the arms through, figure four. Draw the legs forward to the chest. Keep your elbows close to your sides. And feel free to hold kind of static or give a little movement to it side to side. of the foot. If you can't reach that far up, grab your shins or your calves, wherever you can reach. Draw the chin slightly down, lengthening the back of the neck and begin to activate your arm strength a little bit by pulling those feet down towards knees and knees down towards armpits. Breathe into the pelvis belly and the chest, exhale chest, belly, pelvis, one more breath. Soften up the grip, draw the knees together, and give a nice little hug of those knees to the chest. All right, so we're one foot down, all the way, and the other leg all the way. Arms release down by sides. Coming into final resting pose, Shavasana. At 
this point, I will guide you in a little bit of a body scan as you rest here in Shavasana. Feel free to make any adjustments that you may need. Allowing the gift of silence to permeate the body and mind. Becoming aware of the body's edges. The outer edges of the toes. the arch of the foot and the heel. The outer edges of the knees, the back of the knees. The edges of the hips, lower back, belly, waist, the outer edges of the armpits and elbows, forearms and hands. edges of your neck and your chin, at the back of the head, and the front of the face. And the top of the head. Feel the edges of yourself expanding out into the space around you. Part of the space around you. Feeling the edges of yourself become so expansive. That 
that you can no longer tell. What is the space within or without you, inside or outside? And feeling into this awareness that connects all beings. Inhale breath, slowly become aware of the space you're in and the sounds that you hear on the ground underneath you. Start to take in a more active inhale breath. And letting out a more active exhale breath. And inviting now some movement into your fingers and toes into your wrists and ankles. And when you feel ready, rolling over to one side. And helping yourself up to seated. And let's finish practice practice today together, bringing the hands to prayer. And we'll take three collective breaths together, knowing that you are never alone and you are connected to all beings. Please take a deep inhale breath. forward into your light. Thank yourself for practicing and all others who are out there practicing with us. Thank you for letting me guide you today, everyone. Be well and take care of yourselves and that's all. Thank you.